The following program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. We're going to talk about what may be most men's worst nightmare, breaking your manhood, AKA breaking your penis. But our guest <laughs> Ross experienced this firsthand, discovered that laughter was his best medicine. This is my urethra on a really bad day. See that right there? That's a leak. You're not supposed to have one. Four years ago, I broke my penis having casual intercourse. Yep, it can happen. I'd show you pictures, but I'd probably get around. I went to the ER pretty much immediately. I had two tears and my urethra was severed. I freaked out a bit when the doctor told me I might lose functionality and sensitivity but had emergency surgery from two different surgeons the morning after. And one month, I had a full catheter in. The full recovery was six months. People ask me a lot of questions. Did it hurt? Yes, a lot. Was it worth it? No, I don't think so. But I will say that the stories and all of the kind of laughter and silliness that have come out of it might have made it all just a little better. Just in the Hello. So I think Ross, because these guys are all cringing, I'm going to ask you, how did you find the humor and write your story about this? Um, I think that, you know, when you have something happen to you in life, you have one of two options. And one is you kind of laugh at it or you let it sink you. And I think that comedy has always been a coping mechanism of mine, and that's just what I did. Well, you know, they say comedy bends, but tragedy breaks. Hey, uh, but you actually <laughs> turned a break into a, yeah, a comic I mean, experience. I mean, Ross, you seem to be doing well, but the question is, how's Willie doing? <laughs> well, to be clear, I call her Lucky, so <laughs> Lucky's doing much better now thanks to some amazing surgeons. I mean, you would say 100% back and... I would say 90% back because like any sports injury, you're never gonna be 100% back. Yeah, but for all the single ladies, 100% back? 110% back. <laughs> How long was the recovery process? The recovery until I could use it the way that I'd like to was about three months. But it was about six months total recovery and I still had a lot of discomfort for about a year and a half afterwards. You know what's amazing is that uh, I've seen some horrific injuries and, and Ross, yours was horrific. Thank I you. Mean, it was, <laughs> it was uh, co almost completely severed off, uh, kind of just, just hinged because you have these two chambers that fill up with blood. They're kind of like tires. They, they expand a little bit and then they just get harder and harder the more they get pumped up with blood. And you had what I would call a blowout. It usually will, will pop maybe about the, the size of your fingertip, but in your case, that pop extended all the way across both sides and completely through your urethra. And I've seen this before and I've actually fixed this before. And I am just as amazed as you are at how full a recovery you get. The penis really forgives, and fortunately, if, if you, you know, you got you in and you got care, care of. Yeah. Yes, but uh, you know, even so, even as dramatic as this, there are guys who won't come in, or they finally come in, and the problem with that is, is you've got some very specific structures that have to expand and lengthen in exact proportion. You've got a urethra that is the only channel for urine to exit your body. And if that stuff is left to heal on its own, it'll heal in an irregular way. You can end up with a urethral stricture where you can't get your pee out and can't even get a catheter in in some cases. So it is critical no matter how embarrassed you are with a penis fracture or any medical condition, you gotta get in and get treated. Is and you did that. Yeah. And, you did. And, and, yeah. and Doc, how, you. how do you know what, what, when should you be suspicious that you fractured your penis? Well, you know, it's not a sneaking suspicion. <laughs> it's very I mean, dramatic. Now, there are conditions that can be uh, mistaken for a penis fracture because there's a little ligament that suspends the penis on either side to kind of give it its lift. Right. And that can pop, and you can hear a pop, and you can get a, a bruising, and you can think, wow, I, I broke my penis, but you didn't. You broke uh, like, a ligament. When you break your penis, there is no mistaking it. Is there a little bit of PTSD when it comes to being intimate? Is there a little bit of fear? I'm curious. If the P in that stands for penis, absolutely. I would say that I am much more, it's like if you've been in a car accident. Right. You're, gonna, you're, you're not gonna be a worse driver, you're just gonna be like, 
mm, maybe I shouldn't take that turn. Yeah. <laughs> you're only Ross, you're such a great sport, sport. <laughs> and you can hear more about Ross's story. It's in his book, Broken Banana.